My car battery is dead and I need to jump start it. I'm pulling on this tab to unlock my hood. So stay with me as I jump start my car and I'll provide a quick tutorial on the correct and safe way to connect the jumper cables. Once you've popped open the hood from the inside, you can't just open it right away. You have to push on this lever on the inside. This is a 2017 Cadillac Escalade ESP model. And see here, this is the center and the lever is located just to the left of it. You stick your fingers inside like this. So once you do that, you're gonna feel the lever and you press it to the right and that will allow you to open the hood. See, this is the lever and you press it to the right. My car battery is located on the left-hand side and underneath this red cover is the positive terminal. And the other terminal right here is the negative terminal. When connecting the cable clamps to the terminals, people usually connect to the bolt or the nut. But for the purposes of jump starting, you should not connect directly to the negative terminal of the dead battery. Connecting directly to the battery's negative terminal is an old school method that totally works, but poses a risk of explosion. That's because a dead or dying battery can emit hydrogen gas and any sparks created while connecting the clamp to the battery could ignite the gas and potentially cause an explosion. You should still connect to the bolt or the nut on the positive terminal, but the recommended method to minimize that risk is to connect the negative cable to a grounded metal part under the hood that's far away from the battery. Check your car's owner's manual under jump starting. It should tell you where the safe ground point to connect the black cable is. In 2017 Cadillac Escalade ESV model, the metal grounding point to use in jump starting is this metal bracket right here. And here's a closer look at the grounding bracket. I'm not going to be using jumper cables to jump start my car. So let me show you the correct way to attach the jumper cables using these illustrations. Make sure the engine is off on the other car with a good battery before connecting the cables. First, connect the red cable to the positive terminal of your dead or drained battery. Then connect the other end of the red cable to the positive terminal of the good battery in the other car. Next, connect the black cable to the negative terminal of the good battery in the other car. Then connect the other end of the black cable, not to the negative terminal of your dead battery, but to an unpainted metal part of your car. After both cables are connected, start the other car with a good battery and wait a few minutes for the battery in your car to get charged. Then try starting your car. Once your car successfully starts, turn off the other car, but keep your car running. With your car still running, disconnect the cables in reverse order that you had connected them. So first, disconnect the black cable from the grounded metal in your car. Then disconnect the black cable from the negative terminal of the other car's battery. Next, disconnect the red cable from the positive terminal of the other car's battery. Then disconnect the red cable from the positive terminal of your battery. Now instead of using cables plus a second car, I'm going to use a battery jumper to jump start my car. First, I attach the cables to the battery. As soon as I make the connection, it causes the battery to turn on. I first connect the red cable to the nut on the positive terminal of the battery and then the black cable to the metal bracket that I had pointed out earlier. Here's a close-up of how I attach the clamp to the nut on the positive terminal and how I attach the black clamp to the metal bracket. The green light on the cable connector shows that the cables are connected correctly and voila! I let the engine run about a minute or so. Then I disconnect the black cable first and then the red cable. There you have it. 
If you're going to be buying a battery jumper, you can click on my other video reviewing two different battery jumpers. That video also contains additional information on this battery jumper that will be very helpful to know. If you don't see the video, please come back in a couple of days because I'm going to upload it in a couple of days. Thanks for watching.